The pond on the 12th hole is disgusting. Algae to the point where no wildlife even want to go near it. Rude groundskeeper. Golfers pay your salary, buddy, said in a New York accent. Old men come out of their houses to yell at you because you're near their yard. Welcome to here in Oklahoma City. It is the worst rated course in Oklahoma, coming in at 3.5 stars. We're gonna show you guys every square inch of this course, and then we're gonna give it a review at the end. The only twist is I've gotta give it a five star review, but I can't lie. Let's get right into it. Okay, time to check into our tea time. Uh, thought this was the clubhouse, not the clubhouse. That's actually a fitness center. The clubhouse was directly next to the fitness center. So we went over there, we checked in for our tea time. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Good, I was just gonna see if I get nine holes in. I didn't have a tea time or anything. But... That, today that's gonna be okay. Right on. Let me know what you think about number three. All right, sounds good. Lady in the pro shop was very nice. Uh, as I was leaving, she said, hey, let me know what you think about hole number three. She said, I'm curious what you think when you come back in the clubhouse. So very excited about hole number three. <laughs> hole number one looks pretty straight away. Par four, 444 yards. A little windy today too, a little Oklahoma wind. Are we in Tornado Alley? All right, let's get her going. Playing nine holes here today. Goals to break four. Oh man, that was a pop. I think I hit the ground before I hit the tee. But I went dead straight, so. Playing full blind right now. Didn't bring my range finder. I got five iron in hand. I don't know how far we're out. Little bit of a right miss here. We'll figure it out. First couple swings out of the car. 60 degree in hand. Okay, maybe a little far, but we're on the green with putting. Maybe just make that first putt. Oh, okay. Okay, hang out, hang out. Hey! First impressions after the first hole, not that bad, honestly. I'm, I'm excited to see what the rest of the course looks like. Well, hole number two, par three, car three, 165. We're just kind of going off the old, the old dome ski and the scorecard. Same 165, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go seven iron. Uh, I couldn't see it because of the sun, but I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I have no idea where that landed. That sun was just right in my eyes. I think we'll be good. I think we're good. Probably right on the green, right in the middle. Oh yeah, way short, holy cow. Okay. Just a little too much, just a little too much juice. Those balls are all fluffed up because of the grass, so they kind of fly a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe I'm just making that up, I don't know. Oh. Okay, another bug, two over. So far, customer service is pretty good. Course is in like pretty decent condition. I'm kind of waiting for that hole where it's like, oh, okay, this is why it has like terrible reviews because you know what we got next though. Hole number three, which if we're talking to the lady in the clubhouse, she's very excited for me to play this hole right now. I now know why she said, let me know what you think about hole number three. It's a 623 yard par five. I think it goes like downhill or some water on the left. Pretty aggressive par five. Um, that's gonna be left. Some issues like deciphering what actually is the hole. Fairway it looks like over here, but then there's trees that block out what looks to be the green. But I'm trying to decide on whether it's the green or not because there's literally just straight up a line of trees blocking it out. So now I'm thinking like, oh, is the green like down tucked away somewhere? Also, there is a, there's a green like down here, which it doesn't look like that's the green either. Very weird hole. Number three, right now, if, if I gotta talk to the lady, I'm saying, Probably the most confusing hole of golf I've ever played. I'm gonna hit an eight iron at the fairway over there. I think that should do the trick. I think that should be good. Excited to see where this hole actually goes. <laughs> I was right, that's not the green. The green is, it's gonna be tough to see with the camera. The green's around the corner and up the cliff face. Just gonna pound my brand new Tacomo five wood up there. I have no idea where that went. I think it got over, I hit it hard enough. I said, I just don't know exactly where it is. Uh, we did end up getting over, but like in a really bad spot here. Thinned it. Oh. To save par. Come on. Ah. Dang, these greens are like sneaky quick and they're like kind of bouncy. And a little bit worse as we go here. Not the worst greens I've seen. I feel like when we play these not highly rated courses, the greens are typically the first thing that's like, everybody hates the greens, they're patchy, there's no grass on them, whatever. These definitely have grass on them, although it is brown. It's not the course's fault, it's the time of year. 
Uh, they are like pretty decent. Just the overall ambiance right now is just maybe a little dampened, maybe a little bit depressing. Wouldn't say the course is like that bad, but. All right, hold on four here, 369 yard, par four. What a good drive on one here. I feel like we've been kind of just dancing around. Kind of sounded weird, but I think that's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, this hole maybe a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. Just go. Okay. Not the end of the world. Just kind of swept right under it. All right, little Dr. Chapinski. Oh, we'll check up on that Vice Pro Plus, baby. For the first par of the day. Need this one. Gloves still on. It's cold. Yes! A little water check. Oh, yeah! It's cold too. <laughs> Bathroom check? Bathrooms are hot, man. They got a little space heater in there. It's nice and warm. But... All right, hole number five, 550 yard par five. Should be good. The hole's kind of funky here. It's like over some water and it looks like it's in somebody's backyard there. Like their house is just dangerously close. I'm sure their house just gets absolutely peppered with golf balls. We're just gonna fire away. We're gonna pepper them some more. I think wind's kind of at our backs. The biggest thing has been I don't have a rangefinder today and I just haven't been able to actually get a real distance. Also, fairway is looking a little bit sketch here. All right, we're going five iron. I hit it really well, I'll just be a number. I feel like my biggest qualm with this course right now is like I don't know where anything goes. Like the layout of the holes are just super funky. It's like you haven't played here before. It's just a little bit tough. Stuff just pops up on you out of nowhere, like some ponds, some trees, some cliffs, all that stuff. But all that being said, I did actually end up in a pretty good spot right here. A uh, little eagle, eagle chip here. Probably too much. Oh my gosh, I just butchered that. It's so frustrating for bird. I mean, gotta hit it, right? Okay, we'll par three, car three here. It's like 180, I believe, but the wind's kind of blowing at us. I'm going five iron. Plane's flying over. Tee boxes are getting a little bit sketch. I think that was too much club, ladies and gentlemen. A little too much club. Oh, that's gonna be really good. Yeah. A little par save here. The greens kind of look like the carpet at like a old office building, but there's like little lines on it. I feel like that's kind of what the greens look like. How about that? A little par save? I haven't putted terrible on the greens. I don't think I have any three putts. Love me some 60s carpet. Hole number seven, par four, 400 and some yards. Yup. Over that tree, brother. That should be perfect. Uh, 56 in hand, we're gonna try and maybe flight her down a little bit. Or maybe just put it in. Oh, brother. Oh, we didn't even know that. Oh, first birdie of the day. Uh, hole number eight, par four, 367 yards, I think it says. Should be good. Maybe my most consistent drive of the day. Here we go, 56 in hand. And once again, house very close to the green. A little bit nervous about that. It's gonna be a little bit right, just be the number. Yeah, I think we're on the green, we're putting. Come on, little bird. This house definitely gets peppered with golf balls. They've got everything like caged up. All their windows are caged up. It looks like they built a little shield like around their grill so that maybe they can turn around when they're grilling. That's tough. It's literally like 10 yards away from the green. I mean, if you, yeah, if you miss your shot by 20 yards, which people do all the time, direct hit right in the back of the house. Ninth hole here, 420 yard par four. Pretty straight away. I feel like you can kind of just let it rip. 
Definitely missed it left. Four left! I don't know if there's anything over there, but. Oh, thin the heck out of it. Let's close it out on the bird here. What do you say? Great. Yeah, there we go. I'm telling you, no, no three putts, I don't think. Can't decide between an early morning workout or nine holes. This course provides the best of both worlds. Looking to make some new friends or crash a backyard barbecue? Holes five and eight give you a great chance to do just that. Overall, great customer service, pretty solid conditions, and exceptionally warm 